Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Lou, for giving us the uh, the use of Atlas 4x4 in Tweed Head. Uh, we're in their workshop. Hello and welcome to Grizzly and Bear Overland with Lee and Steffi. This week we are in Tweedhead, New South Wales, and we are doing some maintenance on our Land Rover Defender and four-wheel camper. We spent at the end three nights here at the campsite, cleaning, working, decluttering, it feels really good. Now we are on our way to Atlas 4x4. Kyle and Lou, this is their business. And we were in touch with Kyle and Lou four years ago when we were in Europe and we sort of like cross paths. We tried to catch up, but it never happened. Kyle is kindly letting us use his workshop because we're gonna service the car and work on the draw again. <laughs> so what's happened is... <laughs> Yeah, try to I don't know. <laughs> Say goodbye to mum and dad. Mum and dad are just over there. And we'll catch up with them again shortly. Where are you? I'm in <laughs> Queensland. I'm in New South Wales. Standing on the Queensland. state border. New South Wales. Queensland. New South Wales. We were excited to finally arrive at Carl's garage. Once again, it felt pretty surreal to meet someone for the first time, but actually having the feeling of knowing them for a long time. So that's the service yes. kit for the day. Woohoo! Ah, brake pads. Thank you, Kyle, for ordering all the filters and brake pads for us. Not having a permanent address, it is not always easy for us to organize deliveries. When it's time to remove our camper, I always drive. Now you can start swinging to the left a little bit. Not a little bit, just slightly. Lee gives me directions and keeps an eye on everything. It works really well that way. Good, it's coming up. Yeah, the... <laughs> I've cleaned the bottom of the drawer. Deep in uh, contemplation, wondering why I've got a 27 millimeter socket. Must be for something, surely. Otherwise, I wouldn't have this thing with me. Yes. Yes. To remove the plywood. I'm gonna go underneath and unscrew about a billion screws. <laughs> should wear glasses. Safety first. Much better. Last one. Uh oh. bottom of the drawer, the support of the drawer. This is not the support of the camper. But it's got a lot of mold. We had a little piece, a medium piece and nothing. And now we're gonna put a whole nice new ply. The whole length and something smooth and probably marine ply wood. Good job. Lunch break. Got a salad from Aldi. <laughs> Two ninety nine. It's already all mixed. No, you're and supposed to say you made, you handmade everything. I, I haven't been cooking for a while. And this is a gift from Soul Miss Mom. Yeah, chili lime, but it really gives it a kick.
very interesting to see that one side is worn a hell of a lot more than the other because we pulled off the left hand side and I'm looking and I'm thinking hang on a minute I thought I found one of these pads that was seriously needing replacing and then we pulled them out still had quite a bit on them went to the right hand side and this is the one I had noticed recently in a tire rotation on the inspection that I do whenever I do a tire rotation that's nearly gone that's only got a few millimeters left there definitely in need of replacing and when you do one side obviously you've got to do both whether it's rear or front if you do the rear you don't necessarily have to do the front but if you do the rear right hand side you have to do the other side as well which makes sense Pista, they've got to be even on the brake pads and I want to share with you guys for defender owners and I don't know maybe other brake pads as well a little trick I got taught by Alex Newman and Rod Newman way back in Anonne in France the brake pads come with a shim already on the back for the um, the piston to push against on the back of the pad now when I was learning in the south of France when we were building this vehicle, he showed me about a half shim. It's always got to be on the forward side of the brake pad. And he said that that helps to reduce brake squeaking noises, which is a horrible noise. So it actually essentially wears the brake pads in a bit of a V shape. So that's the half shim. And then I will put, this is the one that came with the new brake pad. On there like that. Something like that. So then, you've just got double thickness at the front there. It's only, it's a matter of half a millimeter, but it wears the brake pads in a bit of a, sort of a wedge shape, very minute, but we've never had squeaky brakes, so I'm running with it, Alex. I reckon it does work. Service is done, the brake pads are done, and I removed the bottom of the drawer, and I also did a lot of cleaning, and now we're off to Bunnings to get some new wood. It's 6 a.m. We were very lucky to be allowed to spend the night here in our Grizzly inside the workshop. Thank you very much, Kyle. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, not the first time we've spent the night in a garage and definitely won't be the last time, I'm sure. Yesterday, we completed the servicing of the Defender. So we got all of that out the way. Our next major mission is this drawer. So Steffi's gonna get onto that this morning. We've got some special tape. Thank you very much to one of our lovely patrons, Greg, over in Canada, who suggested this stuff. Let's see if it works. It's like a um, frictionless or self-lubricating tape. It's a polyurethane. We're gonna install that on the bottom of the drawer, along with a new piece of plywood, and hopefully get this thing sliding a little bit easier. And I'm gonna lift bear up on the hoist now and apply some of this stuff. Kyle introduced me to this stuff when I questioned him yesterday. I asked about rust protection. We, uh, our chassis, the underside of the vehicle, still in very good condition, but I am noticing a little bit of surface rust here and there. I mean, the ultimate dream would be to get a galvanized chassis. That's a massive job and we can't afford that. So this one, for now, it's a lanolin spray, lanolin oil, and you just spray it on everything, on all your chassis, everything. It's a little bit sticky, but in a couple of days, it apparently dries. I've heard a lot of good things about this. We're gonna give it a go. Another 
another mission on the list is to apply some 303 protectant on the soft side walls of our camper. Apply with one clean microfiber and remove the excess with another clean microfiber. We try to do this every six months or so. When we get an incredible opportunity like we've got here to have the use of a hoist, thank you again Kyle, it's an excellent time to do thorough inspection. We do keep up on regular inspections, but crawling around underneath your car on the grass, if you're lucky you've got a nice piece of grass, or I carry a bit of tarpaulin that I lay down on, but you're never gonna be as motivated or have as good a visual as what you'll get when your vehicle's on a hoist. We've lifted Bear up here behind, both of us, Steffi and myself have been underneath. We've just, just had a good glance around. I've done all my greasing, really thorough inspection, and we were even lucky enough yesterday to have Kyle, who's a uh, top mechanic, to go over the vehicle as well. He had a quick glance under there, spotted a couple of very minor things, fixed them and told us that all in all, it's in excellent condition. So we're pretty happy about that. Later on that morning, we had a very special visit. Thank you so much. No worries. Simon and Janelle are supporting our journey on Patreon. We were absolutely spoiled with coffees and pastries, but the most important, what I call a perfect price on. Thank you very much. <laughs> Honored to meet you both. Yeah, Enjoy it was great. Adventure. Simon and Janelle came to pick up our inflatable kayak. Unfortunately, we had to get rid of it. We had a lot of fun with it and it is a great product. But with my family coming over from France very soon, we need the space. And to be honest, we were not using it enough to warrant keeping it. Back seat or in your backpack? Oh, you got a buddy, you're doing that from your pocket as well. Look at that. Oh, you love oh, Dad, you need one of these. <laughs> We are very happy to see our kayak going to a good home. The weekend comes to an end. It's time to put the camper back on and leave the workshop nice and clean for Kyle's work on Monday. Thank you again, mate. We really appreciate your help. My unprofessionalism. That's a bit rough. Rough! We will see you next week for a very special and exciting episode. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Not yet. No problem. Get it down.